All right, time for the next installment of Gibbage's 3D Tutorials. This time we're going to be working on smoothing groups. Since this is one of the things that I truly believe separates the pros from the uh, beginners. Simply because I see a lot of smoothing group uh, problems and issues in a lot of beginning models. And it's a kind of a hard concept to grasp at the very beginning, but once you uh, grasp it, it'll help you a long way into making a much better and more efficient model. Uh, basically what smoothing groups is is a way of blending one face into another without it as you can see on the sphere You get a very faceted object. So why don't we go ahead and go into our polygon selection select them all and Give it a single smoothing group. I usually start off with number one and You can see right here how that made that a nice and smooth object because each face has its own individual smoothing groups here now, uh, to go further into it, why don't we go ahead and select half of it right there and then remove one. As you can see, it removed the nice smoothing group, but the other half is still smooth and give that a smoothing group of number two. And you can see right here, we have sort of one of those plastic eggs because you have two different smoothing groups. The first half is smoothing group number two. The second half is smoothing group number one and since there are two different groups they do not blend together so you can see that the top portion is smoothing group number one and the bottom portion is group smoothing group number two since there is no uh, similar smoothing groups between the two groups it does not smooth and you can see a definite difference in the edges there you can see it falls right along that polygon now if we select the center groups and give them a common smoothing group, which is number three. You can see it will blend the two shapes together, well, the two smoothing groups together. Uh, again, this is pretty much the same thing as doing, uh, you know, just a single smoothing group, which would be one. But here again, we have the top, which is smoothing group two, the bottom, which is smoothing group two, three, I mean, number one, and the center, which is smoothing group three. Now you can see here that number three is not highlighted in yellow is just blank that means that only some of the polygons selected is number three which means that the only these are number three if I select these you can see right here it shows that everything that I have selected in this selection set is number three but only some of them are number one and some of them are number two that's what those colors are meaning all right, well, that's pretty much the basics of smooth uh, smoothing, uh, but let me go ahead and show you it in real practice. So let me go ahead and delete this object and unhide the wing that I already have here. This is the same wing that I modeled for the uh, wing tutorial, but you can see right here is what I call the most common errors in smoothing groups, which is this really dark trailing edge. That is because uh, there's also another dark edge here. That is because everything on this wing is set to a single smoothing group. If you go over here into the polygon, select it, you can see it's all set to smoothing group one. Now, first thing we need to do is select these interfaces and give these a different smoothing group. Let's go ahead and give it four just to get out of the way. And you can see it's fixed already that inner dark portion. And then we still have these back faces here you can see the reason why it ha is so dark is because it's trying to smooth such a sharp corner so it needs to make this nice smooth interface between these two very opposed polygons and it makes them really dark first thing we want to do our friend here ignore back facing and then select the ones on the top always make sure that it didn't accidentally select the bottom ones all right, so that's good. And then we'll give, since they're already smooth in group one, we'll go over here and select the bottom and remove one and give that number two. So you can see we've already fixed that back edge there to where it's no longer dark, but we have a smoothing group issue on the leading edge. So for the leading edge, what we're gonna do is come back remove the ignore back facing and we're going to be selecting both the top and bottom of the leading edge since we want that nice and smoothed out zoom in here 
make sure we don't have any extra faces. It really doesn't matter at this point. I just like to be clean. Here we go. Now we have the leading edges smooth, uh, select for the smoothing groups. Go back up here and give those number three. Since number three is a common between one and two, it'll smooth out the leading edge only. And there you go. A nice smooth leading edge and a nice sharp trailing edge. And that's basically, basically the smoothing groups right there.